Proudly ref in the 209 in Stockton, California. Here is the ubiquitous Nate Diaz, longtime staple of the UFC lightweight and welterweight divisions. He has taken on all comers, realized a lot of success as a 155 pound fighter, had the big win obviously over Conor McGregor. Nate Diaz has made a lot of money and rightfully so. When Nate Diaz makes the walk, the masses are watching. Nate Diaz is a very accomplished submission artist and he earned his way into the UFC by finishing all four of his fights in the Ultimate Fighter Season 5. Since then, he's put together some impressive victories and really improved his boxing. So back in 2011, he became the youngest champion in UFC history. Johnny Bones has gone on to become the consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Every skill in the book, he has got it. He has dominated. And in terms of the strength of schedule, you can argue no UFC champion has had it tougher than John Bones Jones. John Jones may very well be the greatest single talent we have ever seen inside the octagon. An incredible athlete, very intelligent and driven man. He has all of the ingredients of greatness. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Diaz is two years the elder. Jones weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our third man in the octagon. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. You got tagged there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Misses a huge hook to the head. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Lands a punch there, Joe. Nice knee to the body by John. And he connects there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Jones gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Diaz. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off. Kick right elbow there. Oh. Him, and he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Blocks the shot. Just over two minutes to go in round one. How about that shin? Under two minutes to go in the round. And he lands a single leg takedown. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying okay. busy for a guillotine. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. Oh, do it! Used excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory.
Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here's the end of the fight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Nate Diaz. All right, so the celebration is on in the 209 and beyond. Congratulations to Nate Diaz. Yet another big UFC victory here tonight. And he just continues to add to what has been a remarkable legacy. Certainly.